Hey guys, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope you are doing blessed today on this terrific Tuesday. I know I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and light to you and many blessings are yet to come. And if you can, please like and subscribe, even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you feel free go ahead and drop me a couple of lines if you feel comfortable and let me know what you think of my video or, or even give me your feedback i love positive feedback and if you can give me a thumbs up if you know if you resonate with my video or not and if you are a returning sub as always thank you for the love and support namaste love and light to you and many blessings are yet to come for you also many many more for both and I hope today everybody is doing blessed starting off this week well just I don't know why I feel like it's today is Monday to me because I guess everything's starting off new again <laughs> but even though today's Tuesday is throwing me off today I'm listening to uh, beautiful Chinese music tranquility the Chinese I think I'm saying it right excuse me if there's anybody who's Chinese on here that uh, they watched my video so my my pronunciation might suck a little bit. Uh, I think it's called the the Daisy flute. It's very peaceful to me. It reminds me of um, when I you know when you do Tai Chi or it puts me back in 1980 something. So that's like telling my age about Karate Kid, seeing Ralph Macchio and Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> doing that so i don't know why it made me think about that but it made me think about make me want to go back and watch mr miyagi or you know the last dragon or something like that one of those 80s movies so if you know you're an 80s kid you know what movie i'm talking about but anyways today the video is going to be about 2018 how we can make this work for us how you can make it work for you because it's just like there's so many things i said i'm not going to do anymore because it's like it, it either flops or it just don't you know you take it to a certain extent it doesn't go any further for number one i'm not going to sit up here and put any resolutions out because it feels like too much pressure and too much stress sorry guys i'm thirsty i need some pink lemonade my daughter made um is is I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to. I refuse to go ahead and do that because that puts too much pressure on you as a person because it's just like if you sometimes people will sit up here and say, I want to, I want to, um, my new year's resolution is to lose a hundred pounds this year or 20 pounds or whatever. And then you get mad if you don't lose that, you know, because you're eating bonbons or, you know, you're eating Snickers because it's just like, you know, me and my sweets, I can't deal with it. Because especially now, since I don't, you know, smoke or anything anymore, it's just now the eating habits are starting to pick up. So, I'm just like, ugh. It just, it frustrates me. So, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to do that. Number two. Anything that does not serve me, I'm not going to force anybody to be in my life. I'm not going to force them to stay here. I'm not, you know... But you're going to have to pick or choose, you know, and it's just like, I'm not going to force anybody to. Because I remember I used to worry so much, like, oh, do they still like me? Or, oh, I don't know why I don't talk to them anymore like we used to. I'm not going to worry about stuff like that anymore. Because what does not serve me or give me any kind of that, you know, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it because you will get disappointed every single time. When you try to have people figured out, it will get disappoint you every single time. So it, it's just like, especially with the empath, indigo things, we, we, we you know, we want to know if somebody cares about us. We want to know how somebody's feeling about certain things and stuff like that. I have to stop doing that because it's just like, if it's a positive thing, more the merrier but if it's something that makes me question it i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it because sometimes it's like we get so frustrated in life about things that happen and thinking that you know like i had to listen to infinite water say that and it's like not the first time i've heard him say that it's just like when we think the world is happening to us it's reacting to us it's not happening to us it's reacting to us so whatever thoughts actions 
or even just saying it. Anything that happens to us, we're bringing it upon ourselves. And we have that, you know, that power to manifest anything we want. And I'm practicing that now. You know, because it's just like, hold up, you ain't got your... I know, I'm practicing on that now. And it's just like, when you start seeing things as a, in a different perspective and stop looking at, you know, because it's just when we get into a, a messed up situation... Sometimes we tend to look at things negative and you, you really, we need to really step outside the box in that. Because if it's just like anything that's not, you know, positively serving us, it needs to be exited out like completely. So you can even, because it's just like even with my situation that, you know, I have to deal with somebody who's narcissistic and stuff like that. And it's already enough where you have to, you know, put like a, a protection thing over you just to, you know, keep your energy like pure as much as you can sorry guys i'll keep on getting all these pop-up notifications from youtube as i'm doing my video um so it's very distracting to me so i gotta make sure i exit them off but um we, we will do that and it, it's just like we will things will happen to us and it's just like with me when i see something happening just to see something about to get triggered i'm not gonna react to it even if i want to say something because see me and my taurus syndrome <laughs> my taurus you know the ta not taurus syndrome but me being a taurus we tend to want to have the last word especially in you being an empath especially if you know somebody's trying to do something to you unjust you want to say something but it's just like sometimes it's Half of the time, it's just not even about wanting to say anything, especially on the New Year's. I said, I'm not going to start my New Year's with drama. Air perceived drama. Because it's just like, if it's going to be drama, I'm not going to deal with it. If it just feels like, you know, you're you're just talking to me just to be, you know, figuring out what my next move is, it's not going to happen. <laughs> you know, it's just, I'm doing this whole new year a whole new way. And that's how I just feel like it's going to work for you it's gonna work for me if you go ahead and you you know if you're dealing with toxic people in your life and you, i can understand if it has to do with family if you can just try to spend as less less time with them as possible and if it's at home try to not react to them or interact with them as much as possible if you can because sometimes it's hard to do that especially if they're family members and stuff like that so is when you deal with that and it's just like it, it will tend to be a lot easier year when you're dealing with non-toxic people if there's just things that you know that happens and it's, sometimes it's hard for us not to react to it but then you have to look at it you never know you know maybe your car broke down or whatever and it's just like what if you were on the road i'd rather for my car to break down like at home then me be on the road and then god forbid something happens and it's in the middle of the road or whatever have to think of think of stuff like that that's how i try to think of things it's like in a different perspective because i used to have a lot of negative thinking and it was just like especially on the new years i was just like wow you know things were happening and i'm just like you know what I feel the alignment coming on so it, it's just like when laws of attraction and stuff like you, you got things that you know you want to do this year you have to keep your mindset on that and it's just like the way i've been looking at all these different um law of attraction videos it's just that you have to stop worrying about the outcome you know just because it's just like putting resistance in between the things that you want so i had to learn that it's just like because i want so much to be with my family but if you have that one track mind about thinking how it's gonna go it's gonna it's you know it's just like it's just gonna block it a little bit it's just gonna block it so i had to learn how to just you know recalculate because that's what i do <laughs> my ocd thing so i will recalculate real quick on um how I need to go ahead and go about things this year because it's just like I have a gut feeling and I have this good feeling. It's just especially when you're going through your awakening and ascensions and stuff like that, you will tend to get uh, epiphanies and, you know, these, your third eye intuition. Basically, you're knowing what is going to happen, even though it felt like I've already did that before. It's going to, it's going to um, come to you when it's starting to prepare you for the things that you're, you're going to be going through. 
I don't know how it's going to happen. It's just all I know is just to make my videos, go ahead and do what I need to do on a daily basis and keep it moving and just hope for the best. It's just like you don't have time to sit up here and be stressed out about, okay, you got this going on, but how is it going to get this way? Because you never know because the way our path is met, even though the higher the higher realms know what's going on, the spiritual realms know everything that's going on. But we're doing the blueprint of our lives, but if we're, you know, you need to go just go with the flow, basically. And that's what I had to learn to do and have patience. Because with me, I don't have patience. <laughs> I don't have patience. I hate waiting. I hate waiting, especially if you know something that, you know, has been unjust to you. You know, you hate waiting. But um, that's how I feel like my year is going to go. Because if I go about it, like I say, I'm going to go about it, it, it should not be that hard. You know, you're going to have some situations that are going to come up, which is understandable. But it's just that you have to try to not take it personal, which is hard to do. <laughs> but... You have to learn how to do that for yourself. If you would want a prosperous, positive year, you have to be able to do that for yourself. And that's just like if even if you want someone, it's just like you, if you put that person up on that pedestal and just think it's going to happen this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, it's putting, putting resistance up. It's putting, especially if it's somebody that's long distance or whatever and you're trying to do stuff that way and it's just, it's just blocking everything. So, I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I said I'm going to go ahead and make another video about something else that's going on in the earth that we need to probably know about. Which, not probably, but we do. Um, it's only if you guys would uh, take your time out to listen for it. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for today. And I hope everybody is doing good. And like I said, please like and subscribe. Hit, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And please give me a thumbs up if you feel free. And go ahead and share if you would like. Um, and I will talk to you on my next video. And I hope everybody says they has a blessed uh, week. And I will talk to you later. Many blessings. Peace and be wild.